know, that song means a lot to me because I know what it's like to feel too far from God's reach. I know what it's like to feel that my ability to sin is bigger than God's ability to forgive. You see, I've been 11 years sober since February, this past February, from Salvation is not a reward for the good we've done. So basically it says, hey, that we don't earn salvation by doing the right things. We don't get check, check marks from God, and stickers and stars. My son's in second grade, so I got stickers and stars in my head right now. But the cool thing is, is that when we were sinners, God gave his son to die for us, that anybody, anybody who believed would find eternal life and forgiveness for sins in a relationship with Jesus Christ. And 10 years ago, 11 years ago, I, I went on a trip to the Dominican Republic. I was a drug addict and I was trying to run away from my life of sin. And I thought I would called up these missionaries. I grew up in church. I knew all the Bible stories. I got saved at least 150 times. At least every time they had an altar call. I was like, yes, Lord. But I found something out in this season of my life. And, you know, I didn't know what to do. I knew I needed to change. And we've been doing this a long time, playing music and sharing our story and ultimately sharing God's story. And the one thing that we found, no matter where we go, whether it's United States or non-United States, whether it's a, a club or a bar or it's a church, that the human heart knows they need change and wants it desperately. And that's where I found myself 11 years ago. So I didn't know what to do. I got on the plane in Boston, Massachusetts, and I flew to Miami and then to Santo Domingo, the capital of Dominican Republic and drove four hours north to the city of La Vega, right in the middle of the country. I didn't speak the language. I didn't go to church services because Spanish church services are too long. Yep. So I was kind of left in that moment, that season of my life to kind of figure it out between me and God. And I learned something that church is great. We need each other to build each other up and remind us of the truths that we have. Sometimes our situations are so big we forget about God's word and God's promises and we're just overwhelmed by the situation at hand. We need each other. But I found that in the Dominican Republic in a small bedroom with cockroaches in the shower. Terrible. I guess it's not more, much worse than Jersey though, is it? I found that God was interested in me. And I dedicated an hour every day to read the Bible and pray. Romans 12 says, don't be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see, the key to change isn't necessarily 12 steps and isn't necessarily uh, uh, rules and things that you follow. All those things can help. But the, the way to change is to bring your life before a powerful God to lay your life down one day at a time and allow God's supernatural ability, the blood of Jesus, to come and change the way we think. It says we're transformed by the renewing of our mind. Another translation says, let God change the way you think. And little by little by little, I read and I prayed and I, I drew close to God. And God came close to me. And my life began to change around. And you know what I found 11 years later? 
It's the exact same thing that I desire and I want now. I want to change. I'm not a drug addict anymore, but I'm in recovery from a million other things. And I'm still in need of change. And I'm constantly reminded that it's found at the foot of the cross between me and God and God's word coming into my life one day at a time and changing me from who I was, who I am, to who he's called me to be. So we encourage you to read the Bible and pray. It's just really that simple. I guarantee you, you will see something supernatural happen in your life. This next song is just my story of how Jesus became my recovery. Oh 